Hi everyone, welcome to your Daily Dose. I'm Brian, I'm one of the zookeepers here at the zoo. And in my hands here, I have Itsy Bitsy, one of our tarantulas. So she is a rose tarantula, also known as a rose-haired tarantula. And they're found primarily in the country of Chile, also found in parts of Bolivia and Argentina. Itsy Bitsy right now is actually about two years old. She's still growing. She'll get a little bit bigger than this. And this species of tarantula can actually live for about 20 years, at least for the females anyway. Uh, male rose-haired tarantulas tend to live much shorter lifespans, around three to five years on average, sometimes a little bit longer. Tarantulas are really interesting creatures. A lot of people are terrified of spiders. However, the vast majority of spiders in the world are completely harmless to us. And this actually includes tarantulas. Now, all spiders in the world are venomous, even the little ones you find in your home. But it does not necessarily mean they are dangerous. And this goes with tarantulas. Although tarantulas are the largest types of spiders, and they are venomous, they are not deadly to humans. Most tarantulas, if you were to get bit by one, would be comparable to a bee sting. Okay, so it wouldn't be fun, but they are definitely not dangerous to us. Now, Itsy Bitsy here is pretty friendly. She's actually spent her whole life with us since she was about that big. So she's quite used to people. Now, the reason they're called rose tarantulas or rose-haired tarantulas is because in the middle of their back, that's called the cephalothorax, they have these usually pink-colored hairs. And so that's where they get their name from. Now, you might see these two little things sticking up at the back of the spider here. And these are called spinnerets. This is actually where the spider silk comes from. So when uh, Itsy Bitsy here wants to make a web, the spider silk in that used for the web will actually come from those two spinnerets. Now we're most uh, familiar with spiders making webs in order to catch uh, bugs, but tarantulas actually use uh, their web more of a way of uh, creating a, a shelter or a home. If Itsy Bitsy here is hungry, she'll actually go out and grab her food. She won't just sit and wait for it to get stuck in her web. So a lot of times in the wild, these guys will dig themselves a little burrow and they'll line the inside of the burrow with their web and they'll put some web on the ground outside the burrow if a bug happens to walk by and touch that spider silk, it'll vibrate all the way down into the burrow where she's sleeping and she can run out and grab that bug. Now, of course, a lot of people are, uh, are worried about, you know, a spider biting them if it was in their hand, but really she has no interest in doing that. Um, many spiders are, are actually quite reluctant to bite us. And in fact, that's not even Itsy Bitsy's main form of protection. She really doesn't want to have to bite to protect herself because she needs her precious venom to eat her food. So when a spider bites an insect or, or any other prey item, they inject their venom which contains digestive enzymes. It not only kills the bug, but it actually helps liquefy the inside because spiders like to slurp their food. So they will suck all the juicy goo out of the middle um, to eat their prey. So she really doesn't want to waste it to defend herself if she can help it. So instead, she actually has an alternate way of protecting herself. So on her abdomen, which is the large balloon-shaped part of her body, there are special hairs on there called urticating hairs. And these are almost, in a sense, like little miniature porcupine quills. So if an animal came up to her and scared her and she thought she was going to get eaten, she would take one of her back legs and she would quickly scrape these hairs off her abdomen. These tiny hairs will fly into the air almost like dust. And if that animal gets those hairs in their eyes, or perhaps they inhale them, it can cause a lot of irritation. And this is a perfect opportunity for her to escape while that animal is busy coughing or sneezing or rubbing their eyes. And that is really her main way of protecting herself if she gets scared. 